Good morning, students. Welcome to today's lecture. I'll cover sine rule. Um, you know that if we, if we had a right angle triangle, right angle triangle, this is C, this is A, this is B, then we can use the Pythagoras theorem, hypo square equal to sum of other two sides square. Okay, so we have done that and uh, in our previous lecture and some other videos and in your text, you have seen that. What happens if you have a triangle that is not a right angle triangle? Okay, let me draw one okay, real quick. I'm going to draw one. If you have a triangle like this, this, and then let's say it's this, and this one over here is this. Okay, they, none of them are right angle. Okay, A, B, C. As you know that, Opposite of side A is known as A. This side is A. Opposite of B, this is our B. And opposite of C is small letter C. That's how we represent the line. Okay. Now, when it's like that, definitely we cannot use the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem works only if there is a one right angle. Okay. But here, none of them are right angle. The trick is make a right angle, okay? So I'm going to make a right angle over here. Let me draw a perpendicular from the vertex A to the opposite side, okay? That our perpendicular and name that. Let's say this is M and this is N, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this one. Uh, this is B, angle B. So what happened, I hope you know the trigonometric ratio, so, ka, toa. Okay, I'm going to use so over here. So means sine theta or any angle. In this case, the way I have drawn sine B equal to oppo over hypo. Hypo is the opposite sides of a right angle. Okay, if this is a right angle, this is a straight line. This must be a right angle as well. Okay, so sine B, sine B is supposed to be oppo over hypo. Oppo is, let me just name this one AX. Okay, that's going to be AX over this AB. And AB is nothing but C. So AX, we can write down small c a small c sine capital B. Okay. Now, if I go for this one, sine C, okay, I'm going to do, let's say, this is equation one, and then sine C, capital C here, this is a small c, equal to, oppo is AX by B. Now, AX is going to be B sine capital C, that's two, okay. Comparing this to AX equal to AX, I can write down C sine B equal to B sine C. So sine B over B equal to sine capital C over C. So I got that. Okay. Now I, I left out triangle uh, angle A. Okay. Right over here, angle A. I didn't put it over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this triangle again. Let's draw this triangle again. And this time, it's more or less the same. Okay, I'm not uh, measuring that. Just, just to show you how this thing works. Okay. And then, I'm going to draw a perpendicular now from here to here. Okay, roughly. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing geometrical proof. Okay, I'm just drawing a roughly a right angle right over here. If this is a right angle, this must be a right angle. I'm going to keep the same leveling over here. This is A. This is B. This is C. So opposite of that is, I don't need this actually, A and this is B and this is C. Okay. So uh, sine A. So sine capital A is again, let's name this B uh, Y over here. Okay, sine A again, oppo by hypo, sine A, this angle. So that's going to be BY over C. So I can write down BY equal to C sine A. Okay, that's 
my equation 3. And then sin c. Sin c is supposed to be oppo by by oppo by hypo a. So by is supposed to be a sin c. That my equation 4. Now comparing 3 and 4, I can write down by equal to this, by equal to that. So c sin a equal to a sin c. So that can be written as sin a over a equal to sin c over c. Now see that sin a over a equal to sin c over c and sin b over b equal to sin c over c. These two are common. Okay. So I can just write down this also equal to that. That means sin a over sin a over a equal to this and this is my sign rule okay so what happened see that there are double equal sign so if i know two sides forget about this one okay forget about this thing just i'm just gonna cover that okay because they are double signs so these two are equal i'm gonna go for this two if i know two angles and one side i can find out another side or if i have two sides and one angle then i can find another uh, another angle so we can use this sign rule when we can use this sign rule use sign rule when case one okay two sides and one corresponding angle given and case two i'm gonna explain that and case two two angles and one side given okay what this corresponding means okay i'm gonna go for two sides and one corresponding angle let's say two sides a and b a and b given side a and side b given two sides a and b given and corresponding means either opposite of a or opposite of b is given if a b given and sin c given then i cannot use this formula okay see that this is going to be unknown there are two unknown and over here two unknown so that's not going to work if you take this pair these two so if you are having these two sides and one of the corresponding angles opposite sides of b angle is given opposite sides of b this angle b is given or opposite of side a opposite side of a this this angle a is given again opposite sides of b is this opposite angle or opposite of side a equal to this a okay any corresponding that means corresponding okay you might think why i didn't write down corresponding over here two angles and one side given why didn't i write down one corresponding side given see that if you know two angles this two angles if you know two angles you always can calculate another angle if you are given let's say one angle is 45 degree and another angle is uh, let's say 80, 80 80 degree okay now and a side given this is a given this is b given okay and side c is given let's say seven centimeter okay now these are not opposite of this but one of the rules sum of three angles equal to 180 degrees since you have two of them you can subtract these two from 180 to get angle c okay therefore if it's corresponding angles or not it doesn't matter okay you can always get the corresponding angle by simply subtract these two from 180 okay so that's how it works uh, in uh, different videos i'll show you how to, i'll show you how to use this sign rule but remember we use this sign rule um, when two sides and one corresponding angle given or two angles and one side given now lastly i want to mention one thing it has sine a over a equal to sine b over b equal to sine c over c that also can be written as such a in the numerator and sine a over here see this thing over here the way i have done this instead of taking uh, instead of taking this c that side i could have taken b to this side sine b to this side and sine c to this side then i would have get this 
So B by sine B equal to C by sine C. Since they are proportional, we can write down A over B or B over A. Okay, as long as you keep this uh, uh, sequence same. Okay, don't put A sine B equal to sine B B. No, that's wrong. If you are putting all the sides on the top in the numerator, then all the angles supposed to be in the denominator. Or all the angles in the numerator, all the sides are in the denominator. And two sides, one corresponding, two sides and one corresponding angle, or two angles and one side. Then we are ready to use the sine rule. Okay, so that was sine rule, the proof, and when you can use that, and how the formula looks like. Okay, hopefully you understand that. If you have any question, uh, leave it in the comment box. In my next video, I'll show you cosine rule. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.